Okay, um, we are doing 2014, question eight, and it's part B. And it was something that we had came across in the classroom we were meant to do before the coronavirus on flexible budgeting as well. So part B, now this hasn't come up in a while. You should kind of expect something like this if you're doing a marginal costing question. It says uh, prepare a marginal costing and absorption costing uh, principles or statements. Okay, so we will go through these. I have the two of them on the board, so hopefully you can see them at home. So um, in this question, the only normally when we're doing marginal absorption costing, we say everything we make, we sell. But in this question, what they're saying here in part B is they're saying that you made 10,000 units and 9,000 of these are sold, which means 1,000 units have been left over. We know the stock that's left over is called our closing stock. So again, in both of these, let's see where the difference is. is. Right, our sales, we're still selling 9,000 in both of these. And we're still selling them at 40 or each, so we're taking in 36,000. Now, our production costs, we would be producing 10,000. That's why I have 10,000 units here. Why I have 9,000 units there is that's all I sold. So I'm looking at my costs. My materials are the same for both. My direct labour are the same for both. Uh, my variable overheads are the same. Now this is where the difference comes. Okay, If I'm doing absorption costing, I would put in my fixed overheads here. So I include them here in my total production costs. So that means when I'm getting my closing stock figure, I'm basing my closing stock figure on all my production costs. So my closing stock, I have 1,000 stock left over. Um, so it's 1,000 uh, units out of the 19,000. So, um, sorry, I shouldn't say 1,000. Better there to say one tenth of that. And likewise here, so I just change that to make more sense. Okay. So your closing stock is one tenth of the 19,000 is left over. So this cost, remember, your closing stock is always valued at your cost. So we're saying the, close, the stock cost is 19,000 and one tenth of this is left over. So your closing stock should be 1,900. So that means that this is what you sold, this is how much they cost you to make, so that's your profit, 18,900. However, if we decide to do marginal costing, if you look at the difference here, right, between the two of these, they were the same as far as here and here, okay, the variable overheads. Then what happened, here I included fixed overheads, but here I don't. When I get my closing stock in marginal costing, I get my closing stock on my variable costs only. So I'm getting my, I'm basing the value of my closing stocks without fixed overheads, which means in this case here, I'm only basing closing stock on some of my costs. Whereas over here, I'm basing my closing stock on all, all of my costs. So that's why in the last video where I showed you the theory, we'd always say for accountancy purposes, you should use absorption costing because it includes all the costs and it goes with the accountancy uh, principles and concepts. But here, when we're doing it this way, we only get our closing stock based on our costs, on our um, variable costs. Now, if you imagine you were leaving out some part of your costs, your fixed costs, it would mean your closing stock is smaller. So if you look here, your closing stock is 1500, where here it's 1900. That means how it affects your profit. It also means that your profit will end up being lower. So again, just make sure here, in your marginal costing, you get your closing stock only on your variable costs, and then you take away your fixed costs. Whereas absorption costing is what we would like to do as financial accountants, we include all costs here, and then we get our closing stock. Now watch that um, and revise that again with your flexible budgets. Uh, I, think, I think it was question five, it could have been in your flexible budgets. But that's the 2014 part B, the marginal costing question. Well, you don't need to help me now.